Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So a lot has happened since we were last together and now I want to take a, a few minutes here at the beginning of the video and just sort of catch you up on where we are. Uh, you see that we've got about $50,000 in the bank right now, but you notice that we have a lot more uh, buses and employees than we did before. Of course, we're always going to have uh, one fewer employee than we have buses because I need to leave one bus for me to drive uh, whenever we are expanding routes, editing routes, or creating new routes. So anything like that, we need to have one extra bus than we have employees. But right now we have 15 employees, which means we have 15 buses driving routes with those employees. So let's go ahead and start off by talking about our employees. If you notice in here, we now have professional employees. In fact, this guy is about to be graduating from the professional level. But what you end up having is, if you remember back to the very beginning of the series, everybody we had driving for us was an apprentice. And then once they graduate from apprentice level, then they move up uh, to, in fact, there's one right there, a journeyman. And the apprentice, uh, really, you don't have to worry too much about how much their salary is because it really won't matter. They're going to be making a whole lot more money for you than what their salary is, so it's pretty much, uh, it doesn't matter. What it does do for you is it gives you a way to sort of gauge how far they've leveled up. Because if you know if they start out at 600, and you can see here, I've got some at 900 per week. So you can see they've leveled up a few times. So at Apprentice, they make basically half of what you made off the route. So if we made 20,000 off a route, then an Apprentice is going to start off running that route and make about 10 grand uh, each week on that route. So not bad, but again, not great. But as they continue to work their way up through and level up, they will start making much more percentage wise of what we made whenever we drove the route. And that brings me to one of the things that I really like about what this game has done. So if we come back out to the route planner here for just a moment, then we know that we've spent time, you know, we spent a lot of time at the beginning, we were running routes uh, here in this business park, and then we opened up gradually some of these other zones uh, until eventually the plan, of course, is to open up the entire map. Well, all that's well and good, but what do you do when you get to the end? What happens whenever you have opened up the entire map and you've done um, a lot of different routes and you've got m maybe most, if not all, of the routes that you'd like to have? Well, one of the mechanics that the game has that I have really started to enjoy uh, and spend some time with is the fact that it really rewards you for continuing to run the same route. And the reason is because every time you run a route, you make a certain amount of money. And every if, if you have AI assigned to that route, then they are going to make a certain amount of money based on your maximum earnings for that route. So if you run that route 10 times, it's going to only take into consideration the most money you've made for AI purposes. So you, it really does benefit you to run a certain route multiple times, sometimes during the day, sometimes during the night, and try to get these special events that happen and try to maximize your income that way. So I really like that. It, it maximizes the replayability as much as you possibly can on a given route. So that's really good. That's something that I found that was really contagious as I was playing because I mentioned in the last video that one of the things I wanted to do was do a, a little bit of testing and, and playing around and just try to get more into the game more than we can in a short 30 to 40 minute video. So that's what I did. I ran a bunch of routes and you can see here that there are, in fact, most of these routes now, I have two employees, two buses running each of these routes. Now, some of them I don't quite have at that level yet. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One of which is I just ran out of time uh, and didn't have enough time to make the money necessary to make all those purchases. But another one of the reasons is some of these just don't make very much money. So I didn't prioritize them as far as adding multiple drivers to the routes. So here is another reason why uh, I like that idea of running the routes multiple times that I talked about. Another great aspect of that is you are leveling up bus stops. Each of the bus stops will start out with a number of maximum buses that can stop there. Like if we come in here, you can see four out of eight. Well, the eight is the maximum number of, let's just say, buses that can stop there. 
Okay, and right now we're using half of that. We have four routes that are using this very stop. And as I move around, you can see that that number uh, looks like it is four on most of these, except for, yeah, this one's only two. But that's the general idea. Okay, we're using four out of the possible eight, which means that we could set some more routes through here and continue making even more money off of this area. Once you go beyond that number, which is eight here, and I think nine for a few of these. Yeah, there we go, four out of nine there. Once you go beyond that maximum number, the amount of revenue your AI start to make will decrease. It won't. You won't get the full amount, but what ends up happening, we'll click on the number one route here, and you can see my best result was 21,400. Well, right now, we're making nearly 30,000 every time we run this route. And that's because we have two different drivers off of there. And this one mount will continue to rise as the bus drivers, the AI drivers, continue to level up. So that is a very good and I think a very fundamental aspect of the game that makes it great. The more I drive these on the different routes, the more they level up. And that means the more money I can make because that's the more uh, buses I can put on these routes. Also, you can probably see where this is going, but the more of these I'm, more of these routes I'm able to run, the more people I'm able to put on each route, the more money we're going to make, and that's going to simply ramp up the money we're going to make each time we run a route. We've seen that number go up pretty much exponentially since we started the series. We started out just making the money that we were making on the route, and then as we add AI, each of those is started out giving us around uh, ten or eleven thousand, and now it's gradually increasing. So we have a lot of routes right now that are going to be active. Now, if we come back into our objectives, let's go ahead and uh, press this exclamation point to make it stay up here for just a moment. But you can see I have actually done, I think, two of these since we were last together. And that really wasn't intentional, except for the purposes of some testing that I was doing. So this 85% of the bus stops should be on the routes. Well, that was actually just a matter of time before we got there because what I had been doing is one of the things I wanted to do was try to get more efficiency out of the areas that we had unlocked. So the business park and, and so on that we'd already unlocked, I started adding more and more routes. And as I continued to earn money, we made even more money each time I ran a route. And so we were able to really exponentially increase the number of buses we have and number of routes we have. So it really started to feed off of itself. And so this 85% was just a matter of time. So no big deal there. We got there simply from uh, the normal course of business. Uh, and then this is one that uh, I, I talked about in the last video where we were gonna need a CNG bus, which I think is natural gas. I think it stands for compressed natural gas. Uh, which was a new one to me. I have, I've been on electric buses uh, for public transport, uh, but I had never heard of actually a natural gas. So that was, that was interesting to me if that is indeed what they're referring to here. So we had to assign at least one driver to a CNG bus. Well, that was no problem. We got that taken care of. Now you can see what we have left for this group of objectives is we need to drive this route, this talking about this route here, with a CNG bus. Well, we have, again, one bus that is unmanned and that is for us to drive. And we're actually gonna pin this one. And let's see which route it wants us to do. Of course, we need a CNG bus, no problem, we've got that. And this route is valid. It is the Nutrivore Research Labs to Oak Street. So Nutrivore to Oak Street, let's go ahead and select that one. You can see this one's gonna take us about 15 minutes. Uh, is the estimated route time here. So it's gonna take us a little while. But we've got, I believe, everything all set. And let's go ahead and click on the drive button. Wow, that is really zoomed in. All right, now is one of the only real gripes uh, or downsides that I've seen in the game is I still can't favorite or, or put an, a star next to the bus I want to drive. Right now, I have no indication that I'm aware of as we scroll through this list, which one of these buses is not being used on a route. And of course, because of where we are in the game, we only have really two buses that we're using. The third that we unlocked, I never did use. So, and you can also notice that I have 
uh, as I've been purchasing these new buses, I've been putting the ads on there so we can get that $1,000 per week. But another thing you'll notice is of the ones I'm purchasing, for the most part, I'm purchasing the beginner bus that we started off with, the Mercedes. And the reason I'm doing that is because from my testing, it didn't seem to matter what the capacity of the bus was that I gave to the AI. The AI uh, income seems to be entirely based off of what we do on the route, how much money we make on that particular route. So we can give them whatever bus we want to. At least that's the way it seems at this point. Who knows what I might find out in the future. But as of now, that's the way it seems to be. And that's why you'll notice that as we move through here, most of this list is going to be the Mercedes. Because once I figured that out in my testing, that's pretty much all I purchased for the AI. All right, so let's back up. And right now, this is the bus we're using. It is, of course, one of the CNG buses. And we have, I think, two of these right now. AI is driving another one that we needed for, uh, for the purposes of the career mode. But then this is the only way I can tell that this is the one I need to drive is it's the last one in the list that's not a Mercedes. So that's a terrible way to have to pick this out and can get quite intensive on time uh, sometimes and, and get confusing. But right now it's the only thing I have. I really wish we had a way of picking a bus and saying, okay, Let's give me a button or something that says, this is the one I'm going to drive. And then as long as it's that, it shows up first in the list. And it automatically, every time I try to drive a certain uh, route, I automatically get in that bus. That's what I would prefer to have. And then, of course, as you progress through the game, you can uncheck that box and pick a new, bigger, nicer bus, whatever the case may be. But that's really the one negative I have found in my testing. All right, so for right now, I'm just going to leave everything on Dawn because I've had the most luck with money-wise on Dawn. Uh, so we're going to leave it there for now. Also for frames per second reason, so our FPS has been uh, pretty standard here. Uh, this is, I am recording this after the first update has been released. There was a lot of performance optimizations there. Let's go ahead and get to our first bus stop here. But I am recording this after the first... Oop, that is not good. All right, there we go. And, you know, there was a lot of performance optimizations. There was also a lot going on with... Right, there we go. Looks like everybody is in. Let's close the doors. Uh, there was also a lot in that update with regards to wheel settings. And uh, we're not going to be talking about that in this video. And that's because I am contemplating doing a separate video just about that. Uh, we'll have to see how my time goes. If I have enough time to put that together, then I would like to, uh, but I'm just not sure I'm going to have time. But essentially right now, what I am using is the same thing that I had been using. Everything feels the same. So the update changed a lot of things with regards to with how the wheels and pedals work, but uh, it seems like what they did was they left with those new settings, they left it to basically be where it was uh, before the update, and now you just simply have options uh, to change those if you so desire. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, one thing that has not changed is my ability to drive the bus so yes i still i've, I've been hitting quite a few things uh, i don't think i've hit any pedestrians <laughs> lately but i'm still hitting curbs i'm still hitting uh, light poles i'm still hitting all those things so none of that's changing i'm still doing a very terrible job uh, one thing i have changed this is something that we talked about in our last video is i mentioned that i was going to turn off uh, that you see in the bottom right hand corner here I was going to turn off the cashier and I have done that and it's really helped to streamline things because as much fun as that can be to sell tickets and and it gives you a real world uh, feedback as to how much you know how many passengers you have on board and how much money you're making it was kind of getting old uh, a little bit to me and having to do that and it just made the videos longer and and I feel like that's one of those things that we had been there done that and gotten the t-shirt so it was time to move on from that particular thing because I didn't feel like it was adding a whole lot to 
the gameplay. All right, looks like we're clear. I'm going to try to, every turn is an opportunity to run over more stuff. We got lucky there, didn't hit anybody. And for the most part, since the last update, um, I've been noticing that the frames per second, it almost is if they have been a little bit more erratic for me, which is, is odd. I did not expect that. But in some cases, they it's been helpful. But in other cases, did I just go the... Oh, my goodness. Okay. We just went the wrong way. So, we'll just make our way back around and we'll make the loop. Me and this GPS are just not getting along at all. I really, really wish we could take the names out of that. That would help me a lot. Wouldn't take care of all the problems I have with the GPS and my driving in general, but but it would certainly make me feel better. I don't need the names of the stops on there. I already know the route. The GPS knows the route. So that's all I really care. Just give me the dot that I'm driving to. In fact, even better than that, there have been several times during my testing that I really wished that I really wished I could have those arrows that show up in some of the games. I know like Forza uses them and some of the racing games in particular use them. Where you can have those arrows that show up to say, hey, by the way, you're supposed to be going. I mean, here's your here's where you're supposed to be traveling. Of course, they use them for different purposes in in the racing games to show you the line in general. But but here it, it would kind of be nice to have that. Because there are several times that I end up making the wrong turn or with some of these intersections that are so close together that I glance down at the minimap and actually think I'm at the intersection I need to turn at, but I'm actually not. So it's always my fault, but I just wish there was another way of making this happen. All right, looks like this lady has almost found her spot. Go ahead and close it down and get back out on the road. But yeah, some more advice on how to get from point A to B could be helpful for me. You can see there I'm getting some sort of stutters in the game. And I haven't figured out exactly what is causing that. Uh, because it's happening sort of at areas where... It hadn't happened before uh, to me, or maybe not as much. So I'm not real sure what's causing it. All right, let's see if we can get out here. So far, so good. We haven't hit anything or anybody just yet. All right, he's turning. I think this next one's turning. Hopefully we can get through this intersection. All right, again, so far, so good. All right, but yeah, that's like right now. Ooh, ooh, I just missed that pothole. So right now we're, I'm experiencing a little bit more fluctuation in the frames per second than I would prefer, and I feel like it's more than more fluctuation than I had previously. But again, that's so subjective that it can be hard to tell from time to time. All right, so this is one of the few red lights we have in the game. All right, let's see, where are we going? We need to be in the right-hand lane. All right, so Fisher's Grounds. That's an interesting name for a bus stop. But again, I don't really care. Not on this screen, anyway. I don't care what the name of the bus stop is. Because for our purposes here, all I care about is just give me the dot that I'm supposed to be going to. All right, we got a couple of people. It looks like they're just going to stand on the side of the road. That's not good. I think everybody's gotten in that is going to get in. Okay, yep, yeah, looks like it. This bus actually looks, when you put on the... When you go to the F3 camera, 
it almost just looks like this is a smaller bus than the starter bus just by the way the space is allocated in here but it is definitely bigger all right hit it over to workers alley good name I think we have the green light here let's see if I can manage to get through here without running up on the curb oh I think that's the first time I've actually done that correctly and it might very well be the last who knows all right there we go F2 let's see what we got we got some people now it would be nice if we had some more models because uh, you can probably easily notice that we have several of the same people that end up showing up at these bus stops and it would be nice to have a few more a few more player models available all right I think everybody is on that we need on oh wow we gotta make some serious corners here so we gotta head left all right we got the green light there Let's see if I can get through here without hitting anything. Okay, good. Wow. So far, so good. I like it. Like, I normally have run up on multiple curbs by now, and who knows, might have hit a passenger or two. All right, these I do not like. I feel like this should be a, there should be a light here and not yield signs, because I feel like you're just asking for disaster at, a, at an intersection like this. Because, I mean, if you notice, this is kind of in a busy area. So I feel like we have some good opportunities to cause a wreck here. So I'm going to treat this like a four-way stop. Okay, that car did not. Oh, then we had a car run right out on top of us there. Good. Nobody got hit, though, so that was good. So no harm, no foul, I suppose. All right, let's try to go real slow. Try to keep those around 10 to 15 kilometers per hour or slower. Okay, once again. Oh, just missed that curb. Alright, so now we gotta make one more left hand turn, and then we gotta get out on the connecting road to head over to our next section of the map. Luckily it's not too far away. And alright, no waiting on traffic here. Alright, and we made it. So everything is really quiet. Like, I don't know exactly what a, the CNG buses would sound like inside. Again, I would think they probably sound more like the electrical buses do. Because if those electric buses, of course, make no noise from the engine, because there is no engine. And all you get to hear as you're traveling down the road is the tires and the suspension as it creaks over. Uh oh, yep, we just hit that pothole. Ran smack over that one. But luckily, that doesn't cost us any money. All that does is, I think it keeps us from getting a little bit of XP, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay, we've got several people getting on here. A few people getting off. Okay, let's switch to the internal cam. Everybody is in position but again this looks so small from here All right, we'll let this one truck go by and then we'll hop back out so yeah this is a very long route gives us a chance to see multiple areas of the map that's for sure but it is certainly not one of the most uh, lucrative of ours. The most lucrative areas that I have seen are actually the last two areas that we opened up down near the pier. All right, nobody getting on or off, I don't think. Nope. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's hop back out.
Whenever I get to a stop like that, I'm, I start to think, was I supposed to stop there or did I just stop there because I saw a stop? Because I have been known to do that from time to time. I see a bus stop there and I just stop, even if it's not on the route. Just out of habit. Oh, oh we missed it. All right, I'll take that. All right, here we go. I right, so see the, the wheelchair there. Let's go ahead and put the ramp out. Alright, so this guy, why is he not getting on? Okay, great. The camera cannot be adjusted. Okay, so this is apparently... Something's not right. right let's go ahead and pull it back in. Okay, now can I open the door? No, we can't. Alright, let's try this again. Because that did not work right at all. Alright, now let's try opening the doors first. Okay, now let's try the ramp. And even though I didn't make it to the curb... Okay, so that's what I had to do. I could have sworn I needed to put the ramp out first, but that did not appear to be working. Alright, now we got it. Let's make sure everybody is all set. Okay, excellent. That's actually the first wheelchair I've seen in quite some time. In all of my testing, I don't remember ever seeing one on a route. So it has definitely been a while. All right, so now we're sort of out into the town area, more of the, of the rural area. Put my turn signal on. All right, again, this is one of those times where there's a whole lot going on. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to go. Okay, let's let these guys turn left, and we'll see what these guys over here to our left are going to do. I notice up ahead we got a car that is... Nope, not our turn yet. Oh, that's one of our buses right there. There we go. You just go right on ahead. Awesome. All right, we're going to try to jump out here. And hope that nobody hits us. And I think we made it. No curbs, no contact of any kind. I will take it. It's amazing how much stress there is in trying to drive this bus through the city. And even through the more rural parts. Alright, so we need the ramp. Now we open the doors first. That's what worked last time. And then we put the ramp out. Alright, yeah, there we go. That worked. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this back in. Okay, this must have been the very end of our route and what you see in the bottom left hand corner is simply the way back to the garage uh, I don't know if they fixed that as part of the update I know they were intending to but we are not going to take that chance there's some more garbage let's see any more back here okay that's all I see we'll get all the XP we can Hop back in, and then we'll hit end. And let's see what we got. Okay, so we hit one pothole, and that was really the only bad thing that happened. We leveled up several. Oh, we got a new bus, another Mercedes. Okay, we'll take that. And we didn't make very much money. 15200 so very little. Again, I basically ignore fare dodgers at this point. We could walk back through the passengers and ask to see their ticket, but... It's just more time than it's really worth to me. But we might do it at some point. Maybe. All right. We're getting these plus ones are a very good thing. Okay. Let's see what we had overall. Now, here's where you can notice a huge difference versus where we were in the past. So this time, even though we personally only made a little over 15000 on our route, as you look down through what the AI made on their routes, I mean, it's obvious this is a route that I have two guys on, same thing here, same thing here, and use as it goes on down until we get to some of the least profitable uh, routes. And I can tell you that this one at the bottom is only there to meet that 85% threshold. That's it. Uh, I tried to make a route that 
that fits some of the more out of the way bus stops that aren't very profitable, but I needed them for the 85%, so that's why it's there. And also you can see that the ad revenue is at this point nearly covering for all of our wages and maintenance. So a total of $268,500, 600 passengers transported, and you can see our graph is looking pretty good here as we continue to add more AI uh, drivers to our company and we continue to get more money every time we drive. So let's go ahead and return back to our map and all of this is now done. Let's see, we get 75 more thousand and unlock another ad as well as the southern area. So okay, let's see what we get. All right, I think the public transport system surrounding the town has never been this robust. Well, we're getting there. Okay, she's talked to, I believe that's the mayor and we're gonna reintegrate the main train station, okay. Okay, Chamber of Commerce is very confident, blah, blah, blah. Okay, significantly improve the daily commute from outside of town, okay. So now we're getting to a time where it appears that most of our uh, routes from here on out are, are gonna start to be much longer routes, at least that they're gonna want us to do all of these, I would imagine. Okay, so let's see what we've got. So we've got the, the I like trains objectives. We're gonna to wanna to generate some of these, but of course we won't worry about that right now. Uh, instead, okay, so if we take a look at our map, the new areas that we have, we have some of these more remote areas right here, and then we get some of the, sort of the southeastern portion of Old Town and I would this must be the train station is somewhere in this area yeah there we go there's the train okay so not bad we've definitely opened up some areas now what I see off the top of my head aside from the things we're gonna have to do to fit these objectives what I'm really seeing is probably a couple of different routes that can take advantage of these that will probably be pretty lucrative so I'm seeing two routes and about four buses total that will make us a lot of money on these routes because I'm again I'm guessing these are going to be fairly lucrative hopefully that turns out to be the case because right now this area and in particular the industry zone is extremely lucrative and to show you that one uh, let's see where is this one yep that's it right here with just this just these five stops on here excuse me four stops on here I did a run and made almost 31,000. So yeah, that works out pretty good. Let's see, where is, yeah, there we go. Then we get another one, 28,000. So you can see very quickly why we have uh, more than one on that route. But again, this route, we didn't make anywhere near 21,000 this time through. So running this thing at dawn did not help us out. Uh, this time so who knows maybe we'd have made more money in the dark with it raining who knows but uh, overall very nice we've gotten some new areas opened up here and i can't wait to get started but we'll do that of course in our next episode for now thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned as we will continue our let's play series of bus simulator 18.